I just turned on my camera to shoot my intro and I'm already hearing creepy noises that sound like a ton of bats. And you know me and bats, I do not like them. Guys, I'm at a haunted abandoned house where a doctor actually committed a lot of crimes. He saw a lot of patients here at this house and he would drug them and prescribe them things they weren't supposed to. A lot of people died because of this man giving the wrong medications and he got sued and he's in prison. I won't give off that name just for the sake of um, his privacy and I, I don't want to get in any trouble giving out information but we're going to actually investigate and see what paranormal activity we can pick up. This is a really big house, almost like a mansion. So smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's go. Now this doctor incident happened in the 90s and I did hear a squatter was living here that's why you see all the food like that. Now there was a very weird situation going on in this house after it was abandoned. Um, there was a lot of really young children coming in and out of this house while the squatter lived here. We don't know the exact details and I won't jump to any conclusions. But I'm sure it wasn't good. There's a lot of Christian stuff, Catholic stuff on the wall. Wow. Look at this. This is insane. Look how tall the ceilings are. Oh my Lord. So yeah, there's definitely uh been a lot of trouble in this house, death. Mother and Mary, baby Jesus. Well, before we go upstairs, I think we'll walk down this way. This is creepy. This is a big house. I would love to own a house like this and fix it up. Dude, they even got a big projector movie screen on the wall. That's got to be more of like 2012, 13 when that happened. There was one owner after the doctor and the squatter. But that is insane. That's got to be, uh, I don't know, 180 would be the size of that screen. Me being a paranormal investigator, but an explorer and someone that loves adventures, I'm like, in awe of this house. Let me know, would you take on a project like this and rebuild it? Because this house has a lot of potential. A lot of money it would take to redo something like this, but it has a lot of potential. Bunch of junk over here. That was me. When you go to abandoned places, there's always a lot of junk on the ground. Wow. Look at this bathroom, it had a gold. <laughs> Somebody in here? Hello? Somebody in here? I don't want to be in danger and there's still squatters staying here because that's a possibility. I don't know if that was paranormal or I'm in somebody's house right now. I hope I caught that on camera. Hello? Hello? I don't know, I'm gonna 
go check upstairs. If somebody does come through that, I'll tell you what, they're going to be in a fight for their lives. If you guys don't know Al Capone, he'll throw hands if he has to. I don't know if that loud noise was something paranormal. I also heard something by the entrance the way I came in. So I'm really on edge. We got to make sure that it's not... sure that somebody's not trying to sneak up on us. If you know Al Capone, baby, I'm down for a fight if I have to. I try to avoid contact at all possible manners, but if I have to, I have to. These are some creepy stairs right here. We're about to go up them. Oh, man. Oh, boy. A lot of weird noises in this house. It's a very weird architectural design. Oh wow, this is a whole hallway. This is a big, big house. Oh, guys, that might have been me stepping. I don't know, but it sounded like this moved. That's strange, but I think it was just where I stepped. Look at this house. I feel a lot of negative energy up here. I heard something over here. Dude, this is weird. This is really weird. A lot of rooms. There's an old record player right there. This house is so big. This is different than some of the videos I've been posting lately. Some of the crazy locations I've been to. Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Now this is a cool ass location, but I've been doing less abandoned. So it's good to get out and explore the abandoned, especially something like this. This is a real treat. If you like abandoned stuff, creepy, haunted, smash that like button. And this is the channel for you, so make sure you subscribe. But, um, yeah, I get a bad vibe. In these rooms. Hello? Hello? Am I in your space? Just speak up. Is that a spirit? Yo, that was scary. Can you do that again for me? Now, the p person that told me about this particular location said they were communicating with the spirit. They're a private paranormal investigator. But they said they were communicating with a spirit that had no attachment to the house. They said they communicated with a spirit by the name of um, Charles, and they don't know where that name came from. And they said, ask for Charles while you're there, and he'll communicate. Charles, are you in this house? Was that shovel there the whole time? I don't think that shovel was there at all. That is strange. That yellow one on the ground. 
I'll have to check my footage. I just heard something from the ball. You can make yourself known throughout the night. This is beyond weird. And first of all, this right here, this door handle has a lock on it. This is strange. Like, this is a... You could obviously see the movie screen. But they were hiding something in this house. Are you in here with me? Look at that door, it looks like it's rigged up. You see that wire? Wow, this is a big house. They were hiding something here. Holy moly. Look at the big portrait of Jesus out there. This is honestly insane. My vibes have completely like shifted in here. At first I was like real excited exploring and looking around and right now I'm feeling a real heavy, scary. I mean we had that big bang downstairs and the knocks. But all of a sudden everything like shifted like I'm feeling like there's something evil here. I don't know if it's paranormal, but there's just bad energy in this house. So my battery, I just had to replace it. died already, and I had a fully charged battery, which is very strange. As I was talking about the feeling shifting in this house, I'm honestly getting freaked out. It makes me want to get the heck out of here. Holy moly. Yo, what was that? Oh my gosh. I'm straight scared right now. <laughs> that is scary. Somebody in this house with me? Oh my gosh. Somebody placed these Catholic things all across this house. These crucifixes, the artwork. Something's going on here and I don't like it at all. This is so dangerous. Oh wow. This must be the master bedroom. This house keeps going, what? What is this, hello? Yo, I'm legit scared, dude. What is going on in this house? Look at all the stuff. That is crazy looking. Look at the old school TV monitor over there. 
Like, is this where the person's bed went? This house has such a weird layout. What is going on here? I do not feel comfortable in here. Look at that, there's a dream catcher right there I'm telling you there was negative there's negative energy in here. Dude, why is there a painting of a dog in the chandelier? How weird is that? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to smash that like button. I just don't feel comfortable in this house anymore. And I really want to get home. I hope you join my family and hit subscribe. I just heard screaming. I gotta go, guys. Peace.